pause, wait for people to come on. Yes. All right, hey everyone, it's Katarina. We are in Theodore. We are uh, near the intersection of Wigfield and Travis Roads. And you can see there's crime scene tape up behind me. Police right now are searching uh, a home off of this area. Now, what we've learned, which is the breaking news update this morning, is that this search here is connected to the missing persons case of Daniela Vianne. Um, we're not sure how they're connected at this point, but what we've heard from Mobile Police is that they executed a search warrant here at this home after a victim came forward alleging sexual abuse, unlawful imprisonment, and domestic violence at this home. So police came here to uh, investigate this morning. They have three people detained at this time um, and they haven't really told us how this is connected to Daniela Vianne's missing persons case but police say that this investigation here, the property that they're searching right now, links somehow to the Daniela Vianne case. Now at this point Daniela Vianne has still not been found. Um, it's unclear whether they think that she is here. Uh, police say that they plan on bringing more crews, more resources throughout the day uh, to thoroughly search this property and to continue their investigation. So again, the breaking news update here is that this investigation in Theodore that's going on at a home is somehow linked to the Daniela Vianne missing persons case. We're not exactly sure how. This all started uh, when a victim came forward to police alleging and accusing someone of sexual abuse, unlawful imprisonment, as well as domestic violence. So police came down here uh, executing a search warrant this morning. Right now they have three people in custody just detained at this uh, point, not charged with anything. Uh, and according to Public Safety Director James Barber, he tells us that this location here, this property, is somehow linked to the Daniela Vianne missing persons case. So again, Daniela Vianne has not been found. Um, she's still not found and it's unclear whether or not she's at this property or could be at this property. Um, but that's something that crews are, are looking to investigate. That's why there's such a large police presence here um, at this home. They're planning on bringing additional resources to come thoroughly search this property. Um, so, you know, it's one of those situations that you always hope for the best and, you know, you hope that they're not linked, but that's where police are at in their investigation right now, thinking somehow that this property is linked to Daniela Vianne. They plan on searching it to see if they can find uh, any more answers, but there is a victim uh, that they say who is not Daniela Vianne, um, another victim. The reason that police began searching this property is because that victim came forward uh, making allegations about unlawful imprisonment, sexual abuse, uh, and domestic violence here at this property. And so that's what caused police to come out and search this morning. Um, but that's really the breaking news update we have here. This all started around 6 this morning is when police came and executed the search warrant at this uh, home. And it's down that dirt road, if you see that dirt little path there, it's a well ways back. And they say it's a very large property and they're expecting this search that they're going to do to last all day. They have a lot more equipment that they need to bring down here. Um, and so that's kind of where uh, the situation stands right now. Yeah, I'm trying to go through the comments and answer some of your questions. So someone asked, what road are we on? We are near the intersection of Wigfield Road and Travis Road. Um, it's right off that intersection. You take a little dirt road down um, and there's a, a driveway that goes pretty far back with a property down there. So let me just kind of go through and see if y'all have any questions that I haven't answered. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of you are just joining in, so I'm going to go through uh, the entire um, spiel again about what uh, police say happened here. So they're telling us that um, they believe that this property here that they're searching could be connected to the Daniela Vianne case. So what happened here is that a victim came forward making allegations of unlawful imprisonment, sexual abuse, and domestic violence. That tip from that victim led police to come to this property here this morning around six o'clock and execute a search warrant. And three people are detained 
right now. Now, they're not saying how they think that Daniela Vianne's case connects to this, but they say that this property here um, is linked to the Daniela Vianne missing persons case. At this point, she's not been found. Um, they're still looking for her, um, but they do plan on searching this property completely and thoroughly. So no word on the, if they actually think that she's here or not, but they just know that they believe that this property is linked to her missing persons case. So police plan on being here uh, throughout the day, all day, kind of bringing in other equipment to come in and search this area uh, as this is, you know, an ongoing investigation. And let me... So they're not saying that they were holding another girl. They said that there was no victim found here, but that a victim came forward making a, allegations about this property. So I don't know if that person got away or exactly what happened. You know, that's uh, details and information that police have not released to us yet. And they say as they continue to go through this property uh, throughout the day, see if they can find anything else, that's what they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to release some more information about that. And for those of you asking again what road this is on, uh, this is off a of dirt road. I'm not sure what the dirt road is called, but it's at the intersection of Wigfield Road and Travis Road in Theodore. It's right off there. Um, there's a bunch of dirt roads that go off of that path, and it's on a property that's pretty far down um, a private dirt road. So the three people who have been detained, they have not been taken from the property yet. They're still back there um, as police are investigating. So I don't know if they're trying to get these people to cooperate with them or, you know, really what's going on. But at this point, they're just detained. They're being held there by police. At this point, no charges have been brought yet. Yeah, some of you are asking to show the house, and I can't show you the house because it is really far down this dirt road, um, and police are blocking off our access to that road. So it's behind these woods here, and so we're not able to get down there and, you know, see closer hand of what's going on. Um, so unfortunately, that's not something I can show you. So again, it looks like a lot of you are just joining us. So I'm gonna break down again, everything that we're learning at this point of, we've learned that police are searching a home and they believe that this property here that they are searching right now could be connected to the Daniela Vianne missing persons case. You know, she's been missing for a few months now. Her car uh, hasn't been found, nothing's been found from her. And they believe that this could be a lead to maybe help finding her. And so how police began to search this property here out in Theodore is that a victim came forward, a separate victim, uh, making allegations about sexual abuse, unlawful imprisonment, and domestic violence. And that's what caused police to come search this property here in Theodore uh, early this morning. There's, they executed their search warrant about six o'clock. They have three people detained on the property. Now we're not really sure how, but Public Safety Director James Barber is telling us that this property here is linked to the Daniela Vianne investigation. So we'll see a lot more crews here throughout the day to begin, you know, kind of excavating this property, searching this property to see if they can find anything to help move them forward uh, in this Daniela Vianne case. Yeah, John, I'm not really sure. Um, police haven't released very many details. That's just the wording that they gave us, that there was a victim who came forward about allegations, and that investigation led them to this property. Um, so it's unclear if that f separate victim escaped from here or exactly, you know, what the chain of events were that led up to this. Yeah, this is around where the neighbor said they heard gunshots this morning, but I do want to clarify that police say there were never any shots fired in this neighborhood. Um, I don't know if they were loud bangs that people heard that they thought they were gunshots, but yeah, shots were never fired out here.
All right, y'all, I'm going to give you one last update. Uh, Nicolette Schleisman is here. She's going to take over um, from here and go Facebook Live again in, in just a few minutes, but I'll give you the rest of the information uh, that I have from here um, in Theodore near Wigfield Road and Travis Road is that this was an investigation and police say they began to uh, come to this property to investigate this property because they had a victim come forward making allegations of sexual abuse, unlawful imprisonment, and domestic violence. And so that's what led investigators here. They executed a search warrant about six o'clock this morning. They do have three people detained uh, right now. Now they haven't said how they believe that it's linked, but um, Public Safety Director John Barber tells us that they do believe that this property here, not sure how, but that it is somehow linked to the Daniela Vianne case. So police are expected to be out here throughout the day uh, with more equipment trying to search this property, um, but right now no, still no sign of Daniela Vianne since when she first went missing. So that's something that you're going to continue to see if you come through this area in Theodore. A lot more police presence here, um, but that's what we have and police said that they'll continue to give us updates as they search this property. Um, so you can tune into News 5 at noon. We'll continue to have Facebook Live updates here, but that is the breaking news here is that this investigation is somehow linked to the Daniela Vianne missing persons case. But for now, reporting live in Theodore, I'm Katarina Lukitich.